Ooh, oh, oh, ah. oh, fuck it out. All right, today's side quest requires a receipt. I'm being like kind of quiet because everyone's still asleep. Oh dear. So we went to the mall shopping the other day because we we're going away for a few days and Shay wanted some clothes. And that's beside the point, but I did see these massage chairs in there. Oh, I'd quite like to try one of those. I just, I just need one receipt with a lot on it. That'll do. Now I like to put little uh, Easter eggs in my videos, knowing that every video is a TikTok story. And for this one, this is gonna be a receipt of the things that I've purchased. No, it's not. I came up with this idea in the gym. This receipt is gonna be a receipt that I find in a bag, which spawns what I want to buy when I'm in this chair. I know that doesn't make much sense. Let's edit this. making a fake receipt, so um, I guess I'll just drag and drop it into Photoshop. Give it a nice little, what the hell? Give it a nice little crop. That was easy, and then I just need to change the words here. This is definitely far more effort than it's worth, but I really like the idea of a little Easter egg that someone, if they notice it, they really like the idea of it but I doubt many people will notice it. Okie dokie, a little bit of tweaking and you are left with something beautiful. <laughs> And there's the receipt for something people probably won't notice, but I'd be happy with. And the boys are up, so, and then let's go to Walmart. All right, so the whole reason for this video of me being at the mall and wanting to try this is that I'm looking for a toy for my son for a road trip that we have coming up. Now, recently I bought him what I thought was a Mr. Beast toy, because it says Beast Lab on it, and everything about it is the same branding as the actual Mr. Beast toy, but I recently learned it's not. So in the video, I'm trying to work out what is the actual toy to get him what's he gonna like and through the video i learn what toy that's going to be and it's going to be this one but i'm going to make it seem like i'm picking it up from the mall instead of from walmart because that just doesn't work for the story now i genuinely thought that the beast the beast lab toy that i bought was the mr beast toy i'll show you the packaging identical well nearly identical <laughs> all right here are the toys look at this label here that logo and then Oliver, do a nice comparison. Get the flipping focus, Oliver. Nice. Should we open this? Oh, glow. Is it soft? It's not. I don't know why your head's hard. Not a gross joke, Oliver. All right, let's get him this one. I guess the Mr. Beast face on it is a bit of a giveaway. I'm also in charge of picking up some socks for the boys as well. So many choices of socks. Those will do. Getting him a new Spider-Man <laughs> sleep outfit, pajamas. It was actually a load of people that commented that I didn't have the right Mr. Beast toy. That was the first I knew of it. I wouldn't have second guessed it. All right, Whole Foods. You know, I, the whole Amazon process for buying something, returning it, is just unreal. That I'm more likely to buy from Amazon than anywhere else now. But I have noticed that they've started to add charges for returning items. Can we go through here? We can't, like just this process, so easy. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Nice Thank you very much. Can I just return this item, please? Sure. Thank you. Is that it? Cheers, right. that is it. Is Thank you very much. All right, then you're all set. Bobby, thank you. Like, how's that? So easy. That was actually the Kodak Printomatic camera. My parents bought that for my birthday. And it's, it was so bad. We've got this, po this other one. I can't remember the name of it now. Maybe it's a Polaroid one. And that was bad but it's a lot better than that one. I guess I should probably give more than just saying it's terrible. Picture quality in terms of detecting if it's light versus dark and the flash coming on, just like blowing out faces. Build quality, the back of it that you have to slide open to get the prints in doesn't stay on properly, doesn't fit properly, and is when you can get it to fit, to tr like maybe fit, it's so difficult to actually put on. Okay, rant over. <laughs> All right, the Heelys. 
So this is going to be the cause of me falling over. And honestly, I don't. I guess Heelys, they really do work into the idea of falling over. But I think they're also a cool piece for the video. Like, why is someone wearing Heelys at the mall? To make videos. <laughs> Which is the right way to go in? Oh gosh. I think we can get in down here. Still got it. Still got it. All right, so the setup for the video, I need to get a shot of me looking around at shops and then a shot of me falling over. Brilliant. Now, the very interesting part about this is that it needs to not look staged. Because if it looks staged, it ruins all of the video. And when I like, the easy way to make it look staged, those massage chairs? No. Is to set the camera up and have me fall. But it needs to be a shot kind of like this, handheld as if I'm just filming myself and then I fall over. So maybe I can get a shot of myself going past like Forever 21. And then I think on my way out, I'll get the shot of me falling. I also don't want to ride the Heelys too much before I actually get on the chairs in case security's watching. I get this guy out, he's staring at me because my feet keep clicking. <laughs> the flipping sound of the... How should I do the falling over bit? Oh, I can do that from back here maybe. So if I go from here, then pretend like I fall. Dude, are those massage chairs? That looks a bit fake, didn't it? Might have to redo that one. Healy slid out from under me. Oh my gosh. I'm like held in. Please visit your card or your mobile phone. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, what the hell? Oh my gosh. It says relax and recharge. Fuck it out. Bloody hell. God, that is going for it in my back, isn't it? I mean, I've never felt so much pressure from behind. I don't think I can even make adjustments. My gosh. Ghoulish green. Ooh. They're way better cold. Look at that. Bloody hell. <laughs> Jinkies. Oh. Oh. I'm just awkwardness eating at this point. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been on here for like half an hour. I've still got 10 minutes left. Oh my word. What the fuck is going on here? going on <laughs> Do all right lad I don't know what's going on right now I don't know about you I'm more of a Swedish massage type of person where it's like much more light on the body versus a deep tissue massage which oh, is what this feels like I'll tell you what though hang on <laughs> oh, ow. there's not a great deal that's relaxing about this being in front of people because everyone just stares at you as they walk past and the ones that aren't directly staring at you, are using some reflection to stare at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is like a mini workout I didn't want. Excuse me, you dropped your trash. It's got headphones in, he can't hear me. You can just leave your bag lying around. Look at what toy to get. All right, we're on the last two minutes. Oh, I think I've got some knots I didn't even know were there. Ah, oh, but I could do one of those. All right, last five seconds. What are you doing? It's off, but why is it moving? All right, now for the part of the video where I go get this guy's bag, I look through, I see the receipt, which then gives me the idea. All right, let's go get that bag. Cool. Just all the, oh, that's giving me the perfect idea. So now I'm gonna heely down to a toy store downstairs and grab the toy as if I picked it out from that store. See if it's in there. Love this. <laughs> back. So that is a wrap at the mall. And while I'm heading home now to 
edit the video and I'll show you at the end. I've been really struggling with how to oh shit, make content for both the TikTok videos and YouTube. It just feels like a lot. So I came up with a plan yesterday. I hope no one notices that it's a Walmart bag. So I've just given Ruger the Mr. Beast toy, but I need to film a clip of him to finish off the video. That's kind of like the payoff that I get the toy and he likes it. But in terms of what I was talking about, maybe I should do a, where is it? Here. So I'm gonna cook up this TikTok quickly and then I think I'll break down for you what I plan on doing with content because I needed a bit of structure. I've been really struggling without structure and I've been putting way too much on myself to try and do, which is just not possible with the way I want to live my life. And I think this works, but we'll try it. Yeah. yeah. And again, do it again. There is a reason those massage chairs at the mall are always empty. And I found out after hurting my back, healing around, looking for a toy for my son. As soon as my cheeks touched the pleather, it seemed to draw me in deeper. And as I paid $5.50, I realized I was that weird guy at the mall for the next 15 minutes. Oh, uh, what the? I mean, I've never felt so much pressure from behind. So I looked around to change the settings. I don't think I can even make adjustments. And thought a Twix would take my mind off of it. The way better cold. Oh, my and I have to be honest, there's not much relaxing about this because everyone just stares at you as they walk past. And as I put my people watching skills to good use, the pounding from behind just kept getting more intense. So I tried to distract myself and look for a kid's toy when I had no choice but to bring my inner Karen out. Excuse me, you dropped your trash. But he had AirPods in and I still had two minutes left. You just leave your bag lying around. Honestly, after what felt more like 30 minutes, the massage chair finally released me from its grip and the massage released me from my cares of what other people's thought of me. So I looked through a bag of trash and found the perfect toy idea, especially since you guys told me I bought a knockoff Mr. Beast toy. You trying to get him naked? 